All right, so let's go ahead and run this and test our teleportation. We will click on that, fire up the new game. There's our portals. Oh man, I forgot to set the frame count a little higher on this uh, recording so he doesn't skip around on you, but um, I'll try to do that on the next one so it's a little more smooth. Anyway, um, I'm going to move him down here. I'm going to step in the portal. Oh, so something happened. Our teleport location did not send us to the appropriate place. Um, sent us outside of the map boundaries. And our character is trying to draw out there in the void. And it crashed us. So let's stop debugging. And... Uh, I am going to go down to our teleport and see what we messed up on here. Let's see. Trigger params, tune screen X, map Y equals trigger params, one, tune. Ah, offset. <laughs> That's why we're using the character's actual um, movement offset variable instead of his screen offset. So we want to change this to screen Y. I think we may have to add these up here as well. I'm just going to copy those for our... Of course we'll... Whoops. I want to get rid of it. Yeah. That looks better. Screen Y, screen Y. Alright, let's see if that fixed it. Boom! Yeah! That's nice. Sends our, so our teleport is working successfully. So now we just need to try our um, new map loader. Maybe make ourselves a little cave or something to, to walk into. And I will adjust my, my frame count so it's uh, not so choppy next time. Um, all right, it's good to see that's working though. So, gonna have to do a little more map work here. Um, sorry, that's kind of kind of a slow way to go. I wonder if I could actually use, here, hold on, let me make, I'll see if I can, grab that uh, cave map that I had before. If you'll bear with me just a moment. I'll open this other project I had. I think I had a cave, small cave map. We can try that one and see what happens. I'm just going to copy that over to this project. And you guys will get these uh, map files as well when you're when you download the source. So they'll be right here in the debug folder. Oh, <laughs> duh! I already had the cave. Wow, I'm a genius. Never mind. <laughs> okay, I'll just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> so let's create another portal to or another script to load that map. So it was called small cave. Um, I bring up tiny edit here one more time. File open workspace. File open map. I should make that automatically load the last map. <laughs> Back to my map. All right. So actually we should look at the cave first to see where in the cave we want to teleport. Or we could try it without the parameters first. Let's do that just for fun. I'm going to say load map, put my bar here. And this time we actually have to uh, supply a value. Uh, we have to tell it which map to load. Um, I think that was called small cave. And um, I'm just going to not add parameters this time. So it drops us in whatever small cave has as the default start location. So I'm going to set that on there. Uh, save the map again. My 
map. Yes, please. I'm just going to take a peek at the cave real quick. Oops. I want a little workspace. I want to load a map. Small cave. Oh, okay. So. Now this already has some triggers in it. It's probably pointing to the world map or something. If this works the way it should, uh, since we did not supply a parameter, when we walk into the cave, it should actually start us at this, uh, this default start location. So we're just going to try that for fun. And I can actually leave that map open while I'm playing, which is kind of cool. And we will walk over there. And that's exactly what it did. It took us to the, the default start location. Now this is going to try loading a map that I don't think exists. Oh, it does exist. That's right, I did have a world map in there, didn't I? Oh well, well, great! <laughs> it looks like that one already had some um, uh, step triggers. Oh, there was, it tried opening uh, castle. I don't have the castle map in there, so we'd have to add that. Um, anyway, it looks like it's working properly here. But I do want to, uh, just for fun, try specifying a parameter for that. I'm going to pause the video and adjust my frame capture frame rate here real quick. Uh, be right back. All right, I'm going to try max frame rate capture just for fun. So let's see. I'm going to run this guy real quick. Testing. All right. So let's open that cave map and tiny edit. And the location, the override location we want to set is going to be right here. So we want to teleport the guy to 412. So we'll say open map. Go to my map. I'm going to set a new trigger here. I'm going to say um, load map small cave 512. That was 512, right? Oh, I must be getting tired. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm set that there. File save. My map. Yes, I will replace that. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta verify that. I was not paying attention there. Oh, I was four twelve. Oh, great. Open map. Come up here, load map for, <laughs> wow, I'm tired guys, <laughs> that was terrible, small cave, and 412, create trigger, save map, my map, Yes, please. Okay, so we're going to want to start, let's see, capture this location. And this is my map 14.2. 14.2, so I'll open map, small cave, load map, my map 14.2. Trigger, set that there. File save map. Small cave. Let's try running that. And 
and see what happens. Look at that. So we have successfully created a portal to a new map. Seems to be working beautifully. So that's really uh, pretty much all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. Uh, looks like everything's working smoothly. Hopefully this uh, enhanced frame rate on this uh, cam studio is capturing at a better clip. I'll check it out. But anyway, I hope that uh, you do very well in your projects and um, keep me posted on updates. I'd love to see what you guys have done. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on this one. I'll try to, try to get it sorted. Uh, just so you know, um, TinyEdit is available for download, and I will post a link to that as well as the source code for this on um, my website. Keep in mind, please, TinyEdit is specifically made for this series and is... Uh, very inflexible at this time doesn't have a lot of features and has some kind of irritating bugs feel free to play with it enhance it do what you like to it um, but that can be reached on my website um, if you go out here go to the source code sharing center and in the code lab you'll find uh, the download for that it's right here anyway I uh, wish you all well and uh, good luck on your projects. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.